Hello everyone, so you might be wondering where the hell is the fucking ship? Well, I did the fight, I did the boss fight from the last part, again. So, we're gonna do some side quest missions now, because I'm not prepared to do that stuff yet. So that's what we're here for, so we're gonna do some side quest missions in part 45. Because there are some things that I forgot, and there's one of them right here. By the way, if you want to train, go here, because it's the best way. But make sure everyone has a Medusa head, so that way they don't get frozen and f fucking frozen in place. I picked up everything, but I haven't done everything in this area, so it's going to be really interesting. And really fucking consuming. As I drop my fucking charger. There we go. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. As we get into another fight, luckily we can just skip it because I don't need to train anymore. And the fact that if I train even what better, then I'm going to be fucking ridiculous. So welcome to these guys. These guys are really good training mechanisms, but we need to do because I'd rather not deal with it. Although they get to attack first, fucking assholes! Although I've been training up since kind of level 50. These guys are really good trained, but they can freeze your opponent. Oh yeah, that's right. All my magic users can like absorb attacks and get health from it. I think I might be able to use Seth as well. Okay, so I don't need to worry about some st Alright, we're supposed to do these fucking things, I believe. There we go, there's one. There is an item down there, but I've already gotten it, so I don't have to worry about it. It. This I did not know this was here. Let me get our sheep. Okay, good, sweet. I didn't know there was. I didn't know I could ram that in there. What the fuck? All right, so this is where you're supposed to go. There is. There is something down there, but I've already gotten it. It's pretty much the same thing. But you might be wondering why the hell we'd hear an on the boat ship in the last part. Well, as I said before, as I said before, I've already I've established that I've done the boss fight from the last fight again, and because of that reason, we are moving our way along. Um, hold on, let me just get the music out of the way. Maybe next time. Thank you. That's why I did that. Um, so here's the thing. Since it's very quiet here and I don't have to deal with fucking music. The last part we- The last part ended on the ship, okay? I- We had two boss fights. The boss fight from the- Next boss, which is kind of fucking tedious and fucking stupid. However, that part, I did not save it. So I went back to save it, so I didn't have to do that boss fight again. Because if you fail the next mission, you have to go all the way back from your last save point. Or you can just redo it. But that's what we're doing. I'm also going to be training off camera with all the characters, so that way I don't have to deal with with the three fucking four fucking jackasses because they are jackasses and they are really interesting. Are we trapped? You know you get scared way too much, Shorty. Yeah, well you look scared too. Yeah. Oh, very clever. Funny. Yeah. What is your pro what are you hiding behind your mama? Wait, what did you just say? Okay, okay. We go against 
each other, we play right into Gongora's hands. It looks like something's happening. Be on guard. Alright, so this is a fight. It's not a boss fight, but it is a fight. So we're gonna be attacking this thing. However, this thing is really fucking annoying and I don't like it. So yeah. We've taken the advantage. But yeah, we're gonna be doing this game. Not all next week, by the way, when we time this recording. So we're gonna these things are fucking weak. Oh uh, yeah, also, um, all the characters have leveled up significantly. I did that off camera because of reasons. Yes. Oh, sleep! Shit! Oh, you son of a bitch! This time still, right? I can't use magic. Come in to sleep or not, you son of a bitch! He's cranking in the doll! Yeah, this is the problem with this. Thank you, now you're fucking screwed, bitch. There we go. That took longer because Seven Sarah got slapped. So. Backyard Weekly? What the hell does that mean? Alright, so this is... This is where could this be? Something in Gora is probably sick it out maybe. I have been sent on a mission. I'm not from this world. However, I've been sent to investigate this world. I have teleported across time and space. My consciousness continued even after I took on a physical form. And remains to this day. My home world and this world. For some reason, the two worlds seem to be linked on the same axis across space and time. Our world is becoming extremely unstable. Reports have begun to circulate that it would collapse. We believe this to be caused by interference from another world. This world that was on the same axis as ours. Our pure and tarnished world was being warped and distorted by some unknown force. Not unlike a virus distorting a living being. Over the course of time, we realized that this virus could well be a soul or spirit. The interference from that other world was from the souls of its inhabitants. They were producing some form of energy that was distorting our world. Why did it have such an influence? To understand the cause of this phenomenon, to study this interference, we established a quantum teleporter, a means to send our consciousness to this other world. And so we came to investigate. Including myself, there are five investigators. The others are Kaim Arganar, Zeb Balmar, Ming Numara, and Sarah Sisulat. We arrived here without memories of our home world, and now live among the native inhabitants of this world while we carry out our mission. A thousand okay. years was chosen as a time frame sufficient to develop a deep understanding of this world's inhabitants. The way okay. we with our memories locked away, has allowed us to become like the people we now live among. However, I awoke to the memory of this mission some days ago. I am leaving this recording so that this world may know that I existed. Given that time flows differently on the two worlds, we shall appear to neither age nor die on this world. 
The thousand years of our investigation is equivalent to the passing of only a single year on our home world. Really? The difference in the flow of time. We live much longer lives than those around us. By immersing ourselves in the history, culture, thoughts, and habits of this world, we succeeded in gathering detailed data. We will transmit our experiences to our home world in the hopes that it will give us the means of saving it. An unexpected result of our mission is that the Tower of Mirrors is causing a variety of odd changes in the natural order of this world. Wild animals run amok, and there are many sightings of monstrous creatures. The natural magic energy of this world has changed. This may in fact be a blessing. Magic energy has dramatically improved the lives of these people. When our consciousness was reconstituted within our new bodies, there was a resonance with the magic energy. The possibility that our existence has imparted even greater strength to this world's magic energy is very likely. We have seen much in our thousand years here, which brings us to the true nature of the virus. The lives and history of the people here are extremely ordinary, and we have seen many dynasties rise to power and fall again into oblivion, as if they were nothing but trivial occurrences. And yet the existence of the virus on our world shows that the events of this world had a tremendous impact making a history that will never be recorded in any book here. Their feelings that dominate the minds of the people in this world, their hopes and desires, their love and their hatred, their very lives and deaths, the events that bring fear or happiness to their every moment. All of these this is fucking ridiculous. Ways, something that interfered with our own world. The hearts and minds of the people is what moves this world. At certain times, this was evident by the feelings of affection toward others. At other times, it was shown by the unrestrained drive to satisfy a great ambition. In the time we have lived among the people of this world, we have realized that these feelings, previously unknown to us, profoundly affect them. And the effects of these feelings are causing the massive energy waves that are affecting our home world. From our standpoint, these feelings are simply a virus. But in the course of a thousand years, we have found them to be a very seductive virus. While here in this world, I have been infected by the virus of feeling and have consequently attained powerful magic energy. To abandon this would be grievous and painful. To even think this way shows how deeply the virus has infected me. But the virus's seduction has been quite satisfying. And it still is. You know, Gagora's got some fucking issue. I Never thought about it that way. You're right. Yeah, come on. Don't let him fall into the wool over your eyes. I know, I'm just used to everything. Well, guys, he's gonna go. He doesn't give a fuck. Okay, so that's the treasure chest of Gengora, right? Uh, items, treasures. Uh, yeah, we got that one, so. So, we're missing. I got most of them off camera because I didn't want to deal with it. But yeah, that's the main reason why we came here. This is the main reason why we came here in the first fucking place! So, this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna go back and. Hopefully we don't get attacked. We don't have to come back here anymore. Hopefully. You son of a bitch! I don't want to fight you, you piece of shit! I'm always ready. Go fuck yourself, asshole! Ah, <sighs> alright. All right. Defense, leave, leave. Nope, we want to defend because then they're just gonna attack each other. Maybe next time. And that's pretty much about it. That's all you need to know. So, yeah, that's where we're at right now. However, there is one more thing. That I need to show off. I'm gonna save it before the fight because I know the fight's a piece of shit. 
The fight is fucking brutal. I don't know what to expect, so I'm gonna save it. Uh, we're gonna do an optional boss fight. Because this boss fight can go blood out its ass. However, we can save it though. That's the main reason why. I'm gonna show off all the side quests, char side quests that you can do f in this game before we move on. Well, at least the, the ones that I can do. So, yeah. That's the main plot of this fucking part. And that's why I did the boss fight again, because I wanted to save it. You want to go to the nearest fucking um, uh, town, and that's the only way you can save it, because there's no save point on the ship that you're on. That's the main problem with that. So I just want to let you guys know that. I'm sick of these fucking load screens, man. Hey, doggy. I love the music in this game, it's really fucking good. So yeah, we've got seven of us. Cause he's got a new one that we're doing here, so yeah. But there is another cutscene that I saw beforehand, so. We're not taking the, we're taking the short, we're taking the short way. Cause I'd rather not deal with a great gate, thank you very much. Boom, boom, boom. This game is really fucking fun to some extent anyway. So yeah, welcome to my world, bitches! Um so there is another area that we can go. And it's right here. We can't go to the Crimson Forest or Port Memora. Because remember the last part, we had to deal with the fucking ship things. However, I will I will do the first fight off camera because you guys have already seen it in the last fucking part. So, yeah. But this is kind of like me doing side quest missions afterwards. This is the area that we went before and got our asses kicked. Why? Because there's a boss fight here! You know what? There's a holy beast that's protecting this area. Oh, yeah, that's right. Even before the world was founded in the Aegis Sword Shield. Oh god. So be careful, I do not. Got it. Wow, okay. Alright, we're gonna go save. And I don't know what to expect here. Um, if we have to deal with an enemy, we're probably gonna just run away like a little bunch of freaking pansies because I remember the last time I was here the guy kicked uh, kicked pretty much every character's ass you son of a bitch because I remember doing only one per one damage per shot let's just stay calm uh no let's just run I'm the one doing this jackass oh sweet cool there's one two of them I like said he's old as dirt though. All right, let's see what's on top of here. The beautiful holy, the holy beast lives. Just lives on the these leaves. I don't see anything. The holy beast prefers not to show to people, but I can summon it with this. Oh, we have to get an item. Okay, so we need to get an item for that. You son of a bitch! Fucking asshole. So we need to get an item for that. Um, I don't know what item it is, though. 
But I know there's a boss fight at the very end of this, so it's gonna be very fucking ridiculous and fucking stupid. You motherfucker. At least it's going. Yep. I could kill it. I could, but I'm not gonna do that. So we need an item to come back here. However, there is another thing that we can do. And that's in the old sorcerer's mansion, I believe. So we have to get some items off camera, so. And we have, there's also a side quest that we can do when we go there. So we're gonna go here again. It's been a while since we've been to the haunted house. So where, so this is where mom was born. She, about this place all the time. Really? But there's something scary about this place. Dummy, I, it's abandoned, so of course it is. Hey, don't worry, it's completely true. It's just, sorry if there's all a moment. There is a poetry notebook on mine that should still be here. Oh, okay. Not at all. Alright, so we're going to go back in the haunted house. Yeah. The monsters are gone now. This place was full of them. A time ago, I heard some people explain that the monsters were attractive energy here. I see my inner feelings must have moved them all in here. They hurt everyone. Think of it that way. These monsters have departed. Oh, okay, so there's no, so there's no more monsters here. Thank fucking God! That's not good. There's no monster here. Thank God. I can just fucking save it! Okay. Fuck yeah! Alright, uh, I want to see something first, Bob. Alright. Uh, ooh. That one is going to be really interesting. Um, I still haven't gotten these ones. But the rest of the rest of them are all going to be boss fights, I believe. Well, except for these ones. These ones are not boss fights. That one's a boss fight. That one's definitely a boss fight, I believe. And that one, that one's probably the hardest area in the game, in my opinion. I said I don't have to deal with fucking enemies here anymore. Woo! All right, let's see what's over here. I've already saved it. That's not the same thing. Yeah, but I didn't save it. That's fine. I've got Seth with me. Seth with me. This is a boss fight. Oh my god, it's fucking terrifying! Looks like a fucking giant head. My best, best negative energy here. Sitting there, a monster like this here. No, this feeling is, is, is sadness. Ah. Sarah, calm down. Is this the monster feeding on sadness? All we've got to do is destroy it right here. You'll help us out too, right, Come, Of course. Okay, everyone, let's go. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to put Jansen just in case. Okay, so I need to have 
Kaim and Sarah on in the party. That's why it says reserved. Some fights you can't, you have to have the character for it. Let's take him now. If I lose, I lose. No. I was hoping not to listen to this fucking creepy song again. Yes, something that's really that's really gonna be helpful for us. Uh, his, his weakness to win. Is he win? Oh great. Fire. She doesn't have it yet, I believe. Shit, no! Ow, fucking hell, man. You gotta be shitting me. That takes care of that. Suck! Fuck! Okay, so we have to do fist of cups here. Sarah, Seth might die. Dad? Oh shit! Well, no, 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 scare fucking Seth. Fucking hell, man. Ah, uh, that's bullshit, man! Okay. Uh, I'm starting to understand. No, you can use an item. Oh my god, this is so fucking tedious! This boss fight is so fucking bullshit, man. <laughs>
You call this boss fight a fucking bitch? This boss fight is technically a bitch. Okay, so I have to be careful with this guy. Seth or Kong's dead. You just don't like fucking. Like, what the fuck? Son of a bitch! This fight Okay, so now I can't attack it. I'm not done yet. However, when it comes to attacking it. You son of a bitch! So magic's not gonna do anything. Okay, so this fight might take forever. Okay. I think I healed everyone. Even though it doesn't really matter. I feel like that if I don't attack it at least once, it's not gonna attack it. Attack ourselves, so that's gonna be an issue.
And I should have used something better. This part might be a little bit longer, but this fight's fucking ridiculous. Well, Seth is dead. Because magic won't affect it because he's too fucking fast for my characters. Yeah. That's the problem, man! Oh, Seth. We don't want to attack it. Son of a bitch. I'm okay. I got some damage off of them. This is a fucking fight that I do not wish to have anyone on there. He gets more health. Just kill us already, motherfucker! This part's going off the hog! God damn it, I hate this. I'm doing this for a reason, because I need to I need to uh, get some strategy for the next fight. This fight. Oh really, all stone. Okay, I see what the hell is going on. Just kill us! Kyle's gonna be the hardest one to kill because he's got more health. And also that shit happens. Thanks for the help. Can you just kill me already? So I need a... I might just have to restart this. Yeah, because this guy's not cooperating. Alright, so... Uh... I'm probably gonna get back to you guys on this part. Uh, so, yeah. You're gonna, we're gonna do this fight better this time. And the main reason being is that, well, except for Jansen, 
Because GSM can't really do that much, but I'm probably gonna have Seth with us. Sun with us. And the fact that he's not cooperating with us! So I'll see you guys in the next part. Next part we'll start this fight again. Because I gotta figure out what the hell to do. So stay positive everyone. Hope you have the next positive day, bitches! I'm leaving off the cliffhanger, sort of. I'm gonna We're gonna restart the battle, but I'm gonna be more prepared because I didn't know that this guy's a fucking asshole! So stay positive everyone.